Citizen Jones. Thank you. Thanks for using the table. Citizen, since you're new to the commission, everybody knows Charlie because he's here every month, but if you wouldn't mind just introducing yourself and who you are and where you live. My name is Timothy Citizen Jones, 16 Dustin Avenue, and feel free to just call me Tim. Um, I came down because, uh, well, first of all, as you know, I don't normally appear before appointed committees such as yourself, but uh, I must say I have been impressed over the last several meetings that you've had. They've been extremely informative. I'm very much appreciating the education I received, particularly not just with regard to what's, what you're planning on doing, but also regarding the details of the planning process, especially with regard to the Rockingham Planning Commission, which I had learned from my budget committee work is not part of, part, part of our county government. I wanted to congratulate you, Chairman Nyan, Nyan for uh, getting our priorities shifted from what the Rockingham Planning Commission uh, wanted for priorities. Apparently, they control the list. They send it up to the executive councilors, and, and through your efforts, the leadership that you offered, uh, you caused the, the process to be somewhat changed in a rather unusual fashion. I understand that uh, Executive Council Sununu chose not to take the go-along-to-get-along attitude on the council and do the right thing, the thing that you were advocating. So I congratulate you on your leadership for that. I also noted at your last meeting that you spoke about uh, a kind of a new awareness of 91A, more commonly known as the Open Meeting Law, also known as the Right to Know Law. And that's primarily why I'm here tonight, is to basically to make a plea an appeal, if you will. The idea that you're going to be bringing, as I understand it, you're going to be bringing an attorney from the Attorney General's office, State Attorney General's office, to offer an education to this commission regarding RSA 91A, the right to know law. I also understand from that meeting that you plan on doing this portion of the education in a non-public session. Now the budget committee did a similar thing last fall. We had the town attorney come in and while I objected to it, I, I objected to it uh, for the same reason I'm appealing to you now. There's no reason to go into a non-public or secret session to discuss the virtues of an open meeting law, the right to know law, to have in a secret session. Does it not strike you as oxymoronic, completely counterproductive as a purpose of the meeting, purpose of the law? So I appeal to you to reconsider and have that on TV so that uh, more of the public can be educated, and particularly some of the boards in our town, noteworthy the planning board just in their last meeting, were radically confused about their responsibilities of being open. Openly advocating maximum secrecy, apparently. Very disturbing. I think if you were to have the attorney from the Attorney General's office on camera talking about what the law is, more people would be educated on it, not just the citizenry, but the other members of our government in town who for some reason are not really familiar with uh, this very, very important law. Now given this is election season, and I'm sure Rick Griffin is running for an office and he wants to make sure that the voters are uh, feeling very good about him, I'm sure you should give him an opportunity to make a motion so that he can maximally <coughs> express his support for an open meeting law and the right to no law. So I thank you for your time. Okay. Does anybody have any comments on, on that issue? Okay, what I will do um, is, based on your request, um, I will go back to the uh, attorney at the Attorney General's office, indicate there has been a request uh, to go public on this. Uh, he will be here in April. Um, I will get his legal opinion and what I, what I would say 
is if for some reason legally beyond what I know but what he knows as an attorney with the Attorney General's office if there's a reason that he can't that night at this meeting I will ask him how does one go about doing a public education session and how how does one learn about the right to know law and all of its elements and try to see if somebody whether or not it would be him or somebody from um, the Attorney General's office or related agent to be able to come in and and do a public session for anybody in any committees any private residents anybody who would be interested in learning more about it for that to happen so I, I can't guarantee either but I will ask for both I appreciate I okay. appreciate your efforts mr. chairman uh, I, I just want to emphasize that you know having under any circumstances that I can think of because I can think of no circumstance in which the topic of the right to know in an open meeting should be subjected to a secret meeting mm -hmm. I can think of no circumstance it just seems such a fallacy on its on its face um, if he does offer you some legal basis for uh, secrecy about not being secret <laughs> would you uh, be willing to sh I hope you'll be able to share that with the public at, at, mm -hmm. your, at your subsequent meeting okay, okay. thank you okay. thank you